Hello folks and friends. I've been trying to do different kinds of creations and art projects, and most of them didn't work out. One of the only ones that did was the one that I'm talking about today and that I'm going to be making, which is a creation that I made a couple years ago and it turned out pretty well. So I decided to do it again because the last time I made it, I threw it away, which this creation is a goblin. I know that most people make and draw and stuff, but the reason why I'm going to be doing this is because I've been trying to do a video for a while. So I know that I haven't posted in a while, and this is the reason why, is because I've been trying to do different kinds of art styles and art projects. One that'll actually fit into the video, and the only one that has is that one. So if you guys want to watch me clay sculpt a goblin, let's just get right to it. Like every other creation, we are going to be starting off with the wire and the foil. The only difference is that with this armature, it's a little bit bulkier than usual. So let's talk a little bit about this creation. I made the first one or the original um, a couple of years ago when I first started clay sculpting. I enjoyed how it turned out. And in fact, I made three of them. One of them was a blue colored one, one was red, and another one was yellow, I believe. And this was out of model in clay, so eventually after a while it started wearing out all three of them. In fact, one of them was completely smushed, so I had to just throw them away. Now, at first I didn't care about it, but now that I'm looking back at it, I don't have any reference photos to use to make this creation almost as exact. So I'm just going off based on what I remember from these creations. Anyways, back to sculpting. Right now we are covering the whole thing with white polymer clay. I bought a huge box of it and it had like three pounds of clay. So I've been using it as much as I possibly can and trying to make as big of clay sculptures as I possibly can, which this one, it's a mid-sized creation that I've built. It's probably one of the same sizes as the ones that I used to make. Now, honestly, I don't remember if the last clay sculpture I made with the goblin had a staff or not, but I decided to make this one holding a staff just because it adds more character to the creation because it shows that he has something in possession. So yeah, right now I'm just going to be clay sculpting the arm holding the staff. Once I have the position of the hands where I want them, I can start adding the fingers. I was struggling because the clay sculpture couldn't stand by itself, so I decided to start making the feet. Now this is a huge portion of the video that I had to cut out because I just couldn't have my camera working and the best I could do is just clay sculpt while it was charging and stuff. So right now I finished the head without even showing it. But either way, now we are going to be working on the clothing for him. And for the clothing, I am following the memory that I had of him, which was to have like a rag styled clothing on him, which only covers the top part of his chest and the bottom of his legs. After finishing the clothing of him off camera, I decided to start working on the things that are going to be added on top of him, which are like ropes, bags, and more. Now to work on the staff. All I want for this is just to make it look like it's a natural real stick. Now after baking this clay sculpture off camera, we can start working on the painting job, which right now I feel like this is my favorite part because I've been wanting to be painting a clay sculpture for a while. So here we go. I am first going over the whole clay sculpture while well, at least just the skin parts of it with green because I want it to be a generic stereotypical color frame. And time for the clothes. I want it to be a generic looking color, also for like a stereotypical goblin. So I'm going off with the basic brown color for now, and then I'm going over the whole thing later on with a wash and a dry brush. 
Now with a darker colored brown, we could start working on the ropes, which are tied around his waist and his shoulder so he could be carrying the bag. Now one of the last steps is the bag, which of course it's going to be brown as well, but it's gonna be a little bit darker than all the other ones. Then his button that we just need to paint gray. And in fact, I'm just going to paint all the details inside of his face or on his face, which includes the teeth, the eyes. And then I'm going to go with a watch and a dry brush as well with his face. So it could look more in depth. Now I still need to make the eyelids, but even after that, I still had to decide what kind of color I wanted the bandana to be. So I decided to do the most reasonable thing to choose by knocking one of them down. This is something I don't really show. This is the product of me in between videos cleaning everything up. I guess I just had to clean everything. Anyways, now that we know what color we want the bandana to be, let's just get right into it. sculpture, the goblin, I would like to talk about what I like and what I don't about this creature. The first thing is the staff. It is a little bit broken just because I didn't connect it with the hand that well. So, uh, I mean, yeah, it just didn't really connect. Another thing is I really like the paint process of this. I enjoy doing it and also I enjoy the way that it turned out. If you guys want to watch me play sculpt the other two that I've been talking about, make sure to subscribe, like this video, and hopefully I can make another one of these. So either way guys, I hope you enjoy this video. I know that it's a small project in such a long period of time of me not making a video. But either way, I hope you enjoyed and have a great rest of the weekend guys. See ya. Bye. Over there. Dude, over there. Oh, I didn't do anything. It's okay, this is still recording.